nothing pretty about that one, but um, I was uh, I was pleased with the way we, we finished. I thought um, um, from the start, I thought Central Michigan did a good job of of uh, kind of making the game ugly, right? Turning us over. Um, they had nine first quarter offensive rebounds, so we're letting them get second chance opportunities. Um, you know, and we had 17 turnovers in this game. Um, but but we found a way. I mean, that's really kind of the storyline of the game. We found a way. We were down um, at one point 40 to 35 in the third quarter after they came out of the locker room and kind of put it on us a little bit. And then we had a spirited uh, timeout. And from then on, I thought uh, they did a good job of responding. I thought these two um, down the stretch were really good. Hannah, Hannah Young's offensive rebound put back at the end of the third quarter was huge for us. Um, gave us a spark. Um, we started making hustle plays, started uh, keeping them off the offensive glass better. Um, and then these two got aggressive offensively, which we've been begging them to do all year. So I um, want to keep them doing that. <clears throat> Katie's last two games have been, you know, first team all conference worthy. I mean, 22 and 9 her last game, and, and tonight she had 20 and 12. Um, and uh, we just wanted to keep on doing that. Whatever you, whatever you're eating, keep eating that. Okay, so um, so good, good win. Uh, way to, uh, we found a way to win, and um, we gotta have short-term memory and turn around and have a really tough one here on Saturday. <clears throat> Uh, definitely a, a personal game plan of mine and Hannah Young. Our game plan is pretty similar. I mean, if we're not crashing, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. And I think that um, on any given night, either of us can get 10 plus rebounds, and that's our goal, and that's what we're trying to do. We talk about it for every game. So, yeah. What was Central Michigan giving you to throw to get your rhythm? Any points? Um, I don't know. I think it was just focus. I mean, really good passing by my teammates. We're seeing the floor, ball movement at times is what got it. And then the free throws on the stretch. I mean, that's what got me half of my points about, I think. 7 0, man. Uh, for Hauser, so what, you know, again, a point guard seeing you, uh, what was seeing you bring you to the offense to get the ball moving? Nine, nine players have the floor time for mm -hmm. They were uh, playing pretty aggressive, but we wanted to stay to our game plan. Uh, we were able to. Uh, work the pick and roll pretty well, play with our post, uh, play behind, and then attacking in transition, we got some points off of. Um, so what does this mean as a freshman getting in the, in the offense you played tonight? Uh, it's, <laughs> I don't know. She's not it's, a freshman anymore. It's yeah, February. Yeah, what you said is right. not a freshman anymore. <laughs> so a lot of experience now. now um, <laughs> and then playing with a lot of uh, fourth and fifth years on the team. Uh, just because I have the ball in my hand doesn't mean I'm like controlling everything throughout the game. They're talking the whole time. Uh, so I want to say there's a lot of pressure, but having the ball. Um, but I have trust in my teammates, that, and they have trust in me to make the plays. Thank you. Good job. <clears throat> I mean, she's so, so a freshman. I mean, yeah. she's she plays with a great poise. You have you. Talk, it's hard to speed her up. I mean, she can shoot the three. She's a three level scorer. She can. <clears throat> you know, I'm not excited about having to face her for um, three more years. But uh, she's a talented player. They got her. They got her shots where she wanted. But you know, eight for twenty one. You know, she's kind of a, uh, tonight. She's kind of a volume shooter. I thought we did a pretty good job of, for the most part, in her twenty one attempts. I thought. You know, probably 70, 75 percent of them were, were were contested and tough. Um, so you have to do that against good good scores. And then obviously Rochelle Norris is just a low down. I mean, down low. I mean, she's she's just a lot to handle. <clears throat> but I thought for the most part we did a pretty good job <clears throat> defending that as well. Um, other than a few breakdowns. <clears throat> Stop him. Was it more their center with the height difference? 
Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we knew they were going to try and pound it inside on us. I mean, a lot of teams are trying to do that to us now. We just got to make sure that um, on the other end of the court that we take advantage, which we did. Um, you know, we were trying to set ball screens with her in it, and that's how we were scoring a lot um, down the stretch. Um, you know, there's trade-offs and everything, so they use her for her size on one, one end offensively. Uh, but, for, but she's also has to defend our, our bigs who can shoot the ball in space. And I thought we did a good job of, of really making her play in ball screen action uh, away from the basket. Uh, and, and in the third quarter, it was a 14-2 run that you had. So what was the spark of you guys going down the stretch for it? I mean, <laughs> there was, there was, like I said, there was a spirited timeout, and I challenged them, and they responded. Yeah. Uh, the game plan was a little different, I think. It was more Yanoff start, fast, strong. Uh, was that to start the third? Was that the strategy the whole time of the game? Or was it to, from the second half? Yeah, the strategy really, the game plan really didn't change much. We just didn't execute it very well. I mean, I thought Central Michigan, to credit to them, they did a good job of getting us out of it. Um, <clears throat> their press gave us some gave us some issues. Uh, we got to get that solved because we play bowl, uh, Bowling Green, who likes to press in multiple ways, you know, on Saturday. Um, but when we execute our press offense and stuff like that, I think we get good looks at the other end of the court. So we just got to be better at executing that. Um, I just thought we played tentative uh, a lot. Um, and you can't do that in conference games, especially against teams that are fighting for an opportunity to get to Cleveland. I mean, this is – they're tightening the screws on everything now. There's seven games left. Everybody is, everybody is you know, kind of desperate, you know, playing really hard because there's only eight spots to Cleveland, and, and everybody wants to be there. So um, you can't come out and, and kind of sleepwalk through a game and, and expect uh, other teams to just let you have it. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it, it's, it's got to be the same thing that we've talked about is you can't take anybody lightly. I'm not sure we took them lightly. I just don't know. What, for some reason, there was just a bit of a mental, uh, a bit of a malaise there, like just a fog, you know, some of the same, you know, and sometimes you get that and when you get to this point in February and now we've played 22 games and, you know, the mental and physical strain starts to catch up with what, you know, Nobody has time for that. There's no time for that if you're going to make a push and be playing your best. So finding a way to win was, was big. I, I, I really liked the way our team responded um, after that timeout and through the end of the game. I thought we did a really good job from then on. But we, it, it shouldn't take that, especially with as much upperclassmen leadership as we have. So they'll get it right. They'll get it right. Yeah, I think once again, Central Michigan had a lot, lot to do with that. They were pressing and scrambling us. Uh, they had a lot of deflections. Um, I thought we we did we did a pretty good job of getting to the floor and 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 trying to win those 50-50 balls, um, in a lot of circumstances. Um, you know, once again, Central Michigan's the best offensive rebounding team in the league, and and they, I mean, they almost got us with that. I mean, but uh, but once again, um, finding a way down the stretch. <clears throat> All right, appreciate it.